All right, last slot, slot five. Let's check the paper. I have found a few more unique questions, and we're going to do them. So question 10, which of the following settlements is true? 27840 is divisible by 12. Right, so for 12, we check 3 and 4. Right, last two digits for 4. So 40. 40 is divisible by 4. So 4 is OK. 3, we check the sum of digits. 2 plus 7, 9 plus 8, 17, and 4, 21. 3 also OK. So this statement is true. Now the next statement, we have to check if it is divisible by 9. So let's check the sum of digits. 7 plus 3, 10, and 2, 12, and 9, 21, and 7, 28, and 5, 33, and 3, 36. Yes, divisible by 9. So this statement is also true. So both of our statements are true. Option C. Right? Question 12 now. A sum amounts to 16,000 at the end of three years and 25,600 at the end of six years under compound test. OK. So let us write the first equation. The first equation will be P into 1 plus R by 100 after three years. That becomes 16,000. And then P into 1 plus R by 100 after six years becomes 25,600. Divide these two. Divide two by one. You'll get one plus R by hundred cubed equal to one point six. For the division on the right side, use the on-stream calculator. Now use this value in this equation that will give you. P times 1.6 equal to 16,000, which means you're going to get P equal to 10,000. So we have calculated the principal. Now find the simple interest. That's easy. So SI would be equal to 10,000 P times rate 15 and time is 2 divided by 100. Cancel these zeros, we're going to get 13 to 100, that is 3000. So your answer will be option A. Then, next one age problem. This was the only pure age problem that I found, others were just ratio proportions. So Ranjit's present age is half of his brother's Manjit's age after 10 years. So let Manjit's Present age be x. So after 10 years, it will be x plus 10. Right? And Ranjit now is x plus 10 by 2. After 5 years, what will be both of their ages? Manjit will be x plus 5. Ranjit will be x plus 10 by 2 plus 5, which is x plus 20 by 2. Now this ratio, Manjit by Ranjit, so x plus 5 by x plus 20 by 2 is given to be 7 by 5. So this 2 will go above, right? We can write 2 there and remove the 2 from the denominator. Now we solve this equation. So 10x plus 50 will be equal to 7x plus 140, which means 3x equal to 90 or x equal to 30. x equal to 30 means Ranjit's present age will become 30 plus 10, 40 by 2, 20. Now they want us to find Ranjit's age two years ago. So if his present age is 20, two years ago he was 18 years old. Right. Make sure you read this blue underlined portion. Right, because so many sums will be there, and in the excitement of getting the correct answer, you will just mark x equal to twenty. But be careful of that. That is also an option. All right. Question twenty-two now. Question twenty-two states. 
that in a circular ground of radius 28 meter. So here, this radius is 28 meter. Right? The shaded portion in the circle represents forest area, while the other portion is construction purposes. A lot of construction. All right, so 30 degrees and 30 degrees. So it's a total 60 degrees. 60 degrees out of 360 degrees available is reserved for forests. Right? So that means one sixth reserved and five sixths used for construction. They want, want us to find that area. That should not be difficult, right? Because the radius is given. Radius is given. And we only need the radius in order to find the area. So area would be 5 by 6 into pi, let's take pi as 22 by 7, into r square, right? 28 times 28. Use your on-screen calculator, and you're going to end up with 2053, 1 by 3 meters square. So they want to approximate the value, so then your answer will be option D, 2053 meters square. So that's it. I have solved four unique questions from this slot again. And if you have any more questions from this paper, just put them down in the comments and we'll create another video with the responses. All right.